What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about the five fragrances you should start your collection with. Um, if either you're restarting or you're just new into the hobby, these are the five fragrances I recommend for you to get um, to start the hobby. Um, if I could do it again, these are probably the five fragrances I would pick up first. So let's go ahead and get into it. First, we're going to go off with the easy to wear, uh, casual, you can wear it to the gym. Kind of just wear it around all about you could wear it in even a kind of professional setting i would go with dior Homme cologne so great clean fresh fragrance clean very clean fragrance um and this is one fragrance i would go with uh for sure you guys already know this is the fragrance that pretty much changed my perspective on designers uh going from clones i was pretty much one person that stuck with the clones and this fragrance is what pretty much changed me and changed my collection now if you look at my collection it's probably mostly designers and niche and not too many clones anymore but i had per probably over 200 clones at some point maybe closer to 300 now i probably only have 20. i got rid of a lot of them um next is a fragrance that it's more for the professional setting. Um, maybe date night, uh, date night out type of setting. This is gonna be Pasha the Cartier Parfum. So this is gonna be a more of an elegant, darker fragrance. Maybe even colder weather. You could definitely wear this one. Um, but yeah, this fragrance, my favorite fragrance from the Cartier house. Um, and just nothing reminds me of this fragrance. It's a pretty unique fragrance. It smells really good. Might not be a first love, but I would definitely say give it a chance. Um, wear it a little bit. You'll see how you feel about it afterwards. It's a really nice fragrance. If you haven't tried it, I would say go do it already. Next one is a date night fragrance. I'm pretty sure everyone already knows when it comes to the date night fragrance, it's pretty much a signature for that type of, uh, situation it's going to be dulce and gabbana the one edp this is a fragrance i've always had in my collection even before i had a collection i had the one um and it's a fragrance you might get tired of it eventually you might want to get rid of it but i would just go ahead and say hold on to it um this this fragrance is pretty much like a uh i don't know if i put this video or put this fragrance in my forgotten loves video but pretty much you start off with this fragrance you love it you love it you love it you forget about it you miss it, you come back to it after a while, you don't get rid of it after that. But again, very unique, timeless. You're not gonna find anything that smells like it out there. So yeah, it doesn't last too long, but it's good for what it's for. For what it's for. Next is two niche fragrances. So the clone on this one, then these two have pretty good clones as well. Um, this is going to be for your more elegant occasions. You can still kind of every day you you know wear this one. Um, it's a little bit more for not show stopping. Maybe like a you want someone to be impressed of what you're wearing. But uh, this also has a really good clone for it, which is this is going to be Creed Aventus. You guys are probably like, are you serious? But Creed Aventus is a fragrance that if you don't have a collection and you want to start a collection, you're going to love this. Creed Aventus, or if not, if you want it on a budget, Supremacy Silver by Offnon is a really good clone of this. Um, just to finally answer that question of which batch I have, I have batch number, uh, this says lot S4219. Y11N. So for all of you guys that want to know and care about which batch I have, this is the batch I had. Um, but yeah, this is a, if you have just gotten into fragrances or you're just getting it, uh, or you know, you already have a collection and I haven't tried this, I'm pretty sure you already have though. That's definitely one that you should get your nose on. I'm smelling it now, it's just like, I'm gonna have to pick up another bottle eventually. It's, this would be my third bottle that I would pick up. But it's just... That stuff. 
That's some good stuff. And for the last one, this is going to be a wintertime fragrance, nighttime fragrance. Um, something that lasts a bit longer. This one also has a pretty good clone for it. Um, I just like the DNA so much that I actually just went ahead and stuck with, you know, buying the actual bottle of this fragrance. Um, if I ever come close to running out, I'll probably go ahead and buy the clone again. Um, where this feels is the the different nighttime element. Because you could wear Pasha the Cartier for the nighttime. Dulce & Gabbana is one that won't last too long at night. But you need more of... I don't know. This is kind of like... you could It could be a cozy fragrance. It could also be a little bit more dressed up fragrance but you definitely won't smell like anything maybe it's more of a short showstopper without being too challenging maybe some people find it challenging i don't think so but um it's going to be intoxicated by killian so this fragrance is intoxicating especially to me um it's going to be the only powdery fragrance in this uh this video but I think everyone should at least own something like this or um, something that I would say it's similar to is Baccarat uh, Oud Satin Mood. But I say I said Baccarat, damn. I met Mason Kirk John Francis. Oud Satin Mood is a pretty similar DNA to this. Um, Neil, I already know you're screaming. Mugler, uh, Amen. I got you, Neil. Um, there's another one that smells kind of similar to this. Um, don't remember which one it was, but I would say one more. There's something similar to this. If you're looking for the clone of it, um, the clone for this fragrance would be uh, Amir's Your Drugged. Really good clone of this fragrance. I would probably say if you're more into a budget and you like the DNA but don't have the money to spend it on the Intoxicated by Killian, I definitely say go with Amir's Your Drugged. Um, it just makes a lot of sense financially, especially with how close it is. But these are the five I would pick. I want to know which five you would pick if you had to restart your collection or if you were just starting your collection. What would you recommend for someone else that's starting their collection? Um, these are the five I would recommend to start off with. Um, and then it's pretty much a rabbit hole of spending money from there. But as long as you have these five to start off with, you're going to smell good at any time. Please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know what five you would recommend for someone to start off with. That's all I have for you guys. Have a good one.